enhancements have been made to the setup sheet generation in FeatureCam 2013 R2. In this example you can see we've got a 3 plus 2 axis part with different setups and different features on each. What we want to do is pass over some information to the machine operator so that he knows how we want this part manufactured, which tool we're going to use and some information on the toolpaths themselves. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the add-in to help us generate this setup sheet. To do this we go to Options, Add-ins. I'm going to Browse and in my setup sheet folder in the add-ins location I can choose setupsheet.dll. Once I've selected that setup sheet DLL, you'll notice we get a utilities toolbar with an icon on it that allows us to access the setup sheet dialog. If I click on this icon, you'll notice that some of the fields have already been populated. This is because they've come directly from the part documentation. If I go and look at the part documentation, you'll notice somebody's already filled this information in. This includes information on who programmed the part, the name of the part, and in this case they've also added some information in terms of the fixture that's being used, the material that's being manufactured from, and also the machine and how many parts we're going to manufacture. This information will be useful for the machine operator. If I go back to my setup sheet dialog, you can see that information is the same as the part documentation, so it is loaded automatically. However, we still need to add some extra information, and this includes the images. We can do this on a setup by setup basis, or we can capture the whole document image. I'm going to do the setups first of all. So to capture the setup image, I'm first of all going to select just a machine setup number two. I'm going to select that and do a centerline simulation. If I rotate this view round to get somewhere that I'm happy with in terms of the orientation, I can go back into my setup sheet dialog select setup1 and say capture the setup image. I can repeat this process for the other setups. So I'm going to select setup2, play the centerline simulation, we have some simple hole drilling. Again back in setup2 and capture the setup image. Let's do the final one for setup3. Again rotating round, selecting setup3 to simulate, replaying and again capturing that setup3 image. I can now turn on all of my setups. Select setup number one again. I'm going to capture my final full document image and I'll do this with my 3D simulation. So that's my part as I wish to look afterwards. So I'm now going to choose capture document image. That's now all of my images taken that I want for my setup sheets. The final thing we need to do is to give it a setup sheet template to work from. I can choose this option here, browse template, to look in the folder that I wish to grab my template from. In this case you can see I've got a setup sheet template.html file. This is going to be the basis for my setup sheet creation. Now I can choose the option to create the setup sheets. All the toolpaths will be generated and we'll get a setup sheet appearing, in this case, in our web browser. Note all the information regarding the tooling with images captured for all the operations as well as all of my setup orientation images and the order in which the tools are used. We have a final image at the end that shows us our part documentation image when I grabbed from the 3D simulation. In addition to milling, the setup sheets can also be used for the term mill environment. If you go over to your browser area, you'll notice there is a second example we can load in. Here we have a reasonably simple term mill part with a number of different features such as turning, grooving, and a series of holes around the component as well as a thread. If I go ahead and play my 3D simulation, 
can see all the different features that I've created. The setup sheet system works exactly the same as the milling document. I'm going to click on the setup sheet icon. Note that we've already populated the fields and the part documentation with some useful information. I'm going to repeat the same process. In this case, I'm going to capture the document image. I'm also going to go ahead, stop that simulation, and play the center line to capture my setup. I only have a single setup in this instance, so I can just capture the single setup like so. As before, I need to set a template to use. So I'm going to browse to my template folder. and select the template I wish to use. Now I can generate my setup sheets. This has worked exactly the same as the milling document, but you'll also see it's grabbed the, both the milling tools and the turning tools, including some standard default tools that we have within our, our own tool crib, but also some of the custom solid holders that I've created as well. The final thing I can do is I can actually open the HTML template inside the FeatureCam browser. We can do this by going to the folder location where this file is saved. I've already got it selected, in this case it's the default folder. So here you can see I've got my two setup sheets, the milling one I created before and this new turn mill one. I can copy this location and then from inside FeatureCam I can say open I can browse to that folder or already in that folder and I can change my file type and in this case I'm going to change and look for a HTML file. So in this case I'm going to select the all files and you'll notice we've got HTML. Select the setup sheet turn, say open. I can now view my setup sheet inside my product browser.